Now you just need like a space helmet. That is a green screen and it says, do you have a green screen? Okay, it looks great. come with me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Isn't that that's great? Awesome. Oh, that's funny. Okay, cool. Good to see you, George. All right. Yeah, great to see you. Okay, so last week, what we talked a little bit about is if, if you were a consultant going into an area and you're doing some type of audit and you're gonna talk to the employees, which is kind of standard, respect for people, you should be asking them, what's the vision for the area? Now, last, year, last week you shared the vision and we considered last week, uh, week two of our recording. So what was the vision from last week, Eric? Can you share with everybody? Yeah, so last week uh, I came to the realization that we didn't have the plan solidified enough. So that really prompted to spend last week making sure that we had a, a dialed plan, not only schedule-wise, but budget-wise for this job. And, and that was our primary goal. Awesome. So on time and on budget, it's kind of like a true north. And I suggested, well, if that's the true north, uh, we should talk about it this week. Now I want to share... I brought my uh, Japanese sensei and he's got a book. Uh, here's his book. Um, it is My Leadership, The China Years by Ritzo Shingo. And I think you can get that from, from the Shingo Institute. And uh, we brought Shingo to Santorini, Greece to do a leadership summit. And when we did that, I asked Shingo to come to Santo Wines and do a Gemba walk with me. So that was pretty interesting because his Gemba walk is not so normal. Okay, number one, he says, what is the plant we're going to see? And I said, it's a winery. And I said, okay, what do you think is the most important, he says. And I say, well, I think quality is probably the most important for a winery. In the production area, you got to think about quality. She says, you're right. Okay. So we walk through the area and he asks, think about the people. Uh, what are they doing? And think about the flow of the product. How is that working? Think about the machines and how are they doing? And what he did was he, he just, he had like five things to think about, including the leadership. Are, how are they engaging with the people doing the work? And he, he, he asked the plant manager, can I go behind the line, walk up and see where the corks are going in and how they get dispensed and they get put in the bottle. And so he was making sure there was no dust. And it was funny because he actually put his finger there. He says, there is dust. Okay. So he was looking for quality. And it's, it was pretty amazing watching him go through the Gemba. Now, if I'm going through the Gemba at your house, what I'm thinking is, what's the most important thing other than quality at this point? And you're saying uh, on time and on budget. Okay, can you show us what that means? How are you gonna track on time and on budget? Let me show you, George, I'll be right back. I'm sharing our phase pull plan here and the milestone we were working backwards from was completing the bedroom, which was uh, phase one of our, of our project. Um, some of the things to think about were phasing the partition wall between a, a hallway and the bedroom. When do we want to open that up uh, and, and expose the rest of the house to the construction um, as one of our drivers for this space and then also the window. How do we sequence the work around, around uh, uh, the window being removed and, and reinstalled? So um, we are uh, finishing up with, with our flooring and uh, MEP trim. Uh, and the predecessor to that is paint and obviously the drywall and all of the framing prior to that. All right. So that was the schedule and the budget. That was excellent. Thank you. Now, the next question is for you, Eric, is... Uh, what did you do last week and what did you learn? And remembering that learning is nothing more than a gap between what you planned on doing and what you thought was going to happen 
versus what actually happened. So where were the gaps this past week, week two? I got to say my biggest plan was with my phase pull and, and working out my weekly work plan. Um, I assumed that all four phases were going to be easy for me to plan, but I hit a couple roadblocks. Um, one of them was my cabinets and the countertop. And to better understand what that was going to take for my plan, I've got an appointment next week with, with uh, a cabinet d designer to help me do some layouts. So I, I had some challenges phasing out my work. And um, I didn't plan all four phases due to some of those challenges, but I got phase one completed. So I believe we have a good enough plan to start our construction on the, the bedroom. So this is the coaches. Coach. With George Strachillis and. And Eric Lucis. See you guys next time. Have a good day.